Ryu met and I. I'm surprised he's starting Ryu. I mean, he did win. The one game that he did win, he did win with Ryu. I feel like he could have won game two with Ryu too, except uh, Bonk did the down B uh, dimensional cape. And oh. <laughs> yeah, Nito just wasn't prepared for it. I feel like it's customary for Nito to get far at WNF with the Shotos because this is, you know, it's WNF. It's a Street Fighter original, originally a Street Fighter tournament. All right. Oh. But yeah, let's go. Let's go, Nito. Represent SoCal. Up against the Invader, Bonk. I mean, Bonk's going to have a hell of a bracket to make it through if he wants to get it any further in bracket. Oh my god, a new Tatsu is so dang strong. Surprised he, you know, I mean, I guess he's still at low 100%, but the next one should kill. Oh, no. the cancel. I like that he ran away from the Tatsu there, because yeah. probably would have died if that connected. Oh, yeah. It's one of those things where now, because he got the Shoryu afterwards, you know, when you're with Ryu, down smash. Oh, oh there was a spike. But I was <laughs> so dirty with the with the uh, drill rush spikes. Right. But as I was saying, like, down smash to Shoryu, like, might be a legitimate shield break setup. I'd, I'd imagine it do, like, 50 to 60% of the shield. So if you get a little I've, bit of shield damage, then, yeah, that could potentially break shields. Yeah, I've seen it on Twitter, but I don't know how real it is in actual match. All right. Here we go, and it's one of those things where Shoto's would normally love to use their down B to you know kind of land, but because Men and I has multiple jumps and he's so quick to just throw out attacks, he can throw out an aerial and still catch you and throw out another aerial to break the focus. Yeah, even he even has a few multi hit aerials as well, so you just buy out BB. Like if I see him go off stage far enough, he should just be able to back air him and kill him out of his focus attack. Oh, oh, you, you still rolled, rolled in. in? Oh my god, you had all the time to not roll in there. That had to have been buffered from years ago. Oh, yeah. That Wi-Fi lag buffer? Oh, <laughs> god. Oh, try focusing through it, but unfortunately, you know, oh, Meta Knight's just oh. going to go right through it, and this is how it all ends. Oh, my god. He's not dead. He's not dead to the day one Twitter combo. Right. But that was still so much percent. Oh. oh, but the he almost died to that because he was charging forward smash right there. I love that but. dimensional cave to the ledge. So safe. Like, oh, oh my wow, God. no tech. I'm surprised because usually after down tilt, you see a lot of Shotos uh, go for the up to get the kill. But I can respect going for the, the Tatsu instead. It's just, it's like the buff, man. He wants to take advantage of that new Tatsu as much as possible. Dude, that new Tatsu is so scary because it kills. Yeah, it's almost made. Um, it's a, oh damn! Yeah, yeah dude, yeah. damn. And so that's what fast. I was talking about earlier. You know, just Nito is not prepared for conventional cape. You really only need that move to kill once, and then and you just put the fear of God into him for the rest yeah. of the set. I mean, it's really fast though, and they don't have to commit to the slash either. So, right. it you don't always know if they're gonna do it. But now it's one of those things where like oh he has to Terry time. Uh -oh, Actually, I, I don't even know how. I think Man Knight Edge guards his character mad good. But wait, I, I don't what? know, man. I, I love Terry a lot, so. I mean, I love Terry too, but yeah. I think opting to stay Ryu, I'm surprised just because I feel like with the air to air and the faster speed, you know, Ken might be a little bit better in the matchup, but. Maybe just reuse just raw damage output and better close quarter combat will be able to keep Meta Knight in check. Let's see. And you said the game he did win was with Ryu, right? right. There was there was a change to the uh, fireballs too. I think they're a little bit safer on shield now. Oh. Jab lock, nice. And the turnaround down smash for the max damage. That was really clean, dude. And I'm not going to punish that oh. with crap. And yeah, again, that, there's so little lag on that force smash. Yep. Oh. Remember in Smash 4 when people would charge forward smash with Rio just to follow it up with a short Yeah. Kill? Oh, oh, he had I, to save him because right. he had to time his up B there to get to the ledge. Even though that was like Bonk's only time I've seen him actually like SD with that. But I wonder if that was oh. almost like a calculated move. And there's Bye -bye. the kill, yeah. Free punish. Because 
if he went low just to interrupt the, the Shoryuken, you know, it's either going to trade and he pops back up, or it's going to hit him and he, he gets popped back up anyways. Yeah. If he did that, like, knowing he could live even if he, like, went to free it. fall, then yeah. he, he's, a, he's a guy. Oh, damn, that was such good timing on the late, like, the very last hit back here to beat out the fully charged focus. Nito thought he had something going there. Like, ran into a fully charged focus at low percent. But Bonk said, nah, I'm not running into that. Ooh. Oh, there's a dash oh. attack. Breaks out of it with focus, so he doesn't get laddered, but still took a little extra percent from that. And Bonk just covering all these landings. Off stage now? Oh, I don't blame him going for the drops in there. But if he was just a little bit better positioning around the Tatsu, he could have killed uh, Nito so many times now, because he keeps recovering with Tatsu almost every time. But, has him at the ledge now. Mana has multiple jumps, he can stall really well, but, oh, He didn't get the right hit of down tilt to like combo into a short thing, unfortunately, but Raw Tatsu almost killing off the top. There it oh, is. There's Tatsu. <laughs> Straight from ledge, man. And Nito loves to do that a lot, just because when you see a, a show normal game like that, if you roll backwards trying to reposition yourself, you know, it'll catch the roll too. Yeah, Neos even told me that like he feels with the new Tatsu change for Ryo, he might actually be better than Ken, but damn, that was a sick dimensional okay, <laughs> chase, dude. That was actually so nice. That just looked so good. And here we go. Here's oh. the start of the combo, uh -oh. and this is a uh oh, yeah. <laughs> zero it, to ten. It was all over. Oh my over. god! He didn't even need to actually kill him in the blast on there. Like, once he dared him twice out of his double jump, he was already dead. But I mean, then he even just, with the double jump at that point, I feel like he'd be yeah. too low to recover. But for sure, he's dead with no oh. double jump. Like, literally oh, yeah. nothing he could have done. Oh, but yeah. But he's just like, let me just carry you even further to the blast zone. Just guarantee the kill right here. Yeah. It's like, dude, that, I'm going to, like, make you feel all these hits. Dude, that was like some melee, like, Jigglypuff status right there. Damn. And here comes the Terry. Oh no! The, yep, here comes, here comes the Ken instead. Ken Masters. Yep. Honestly, with what he just did to his Ryu, imagine that. But like even worse if he goes Terry. Oh. Like, yeah. it's, he's not coming back if he gets hit off stage. But it's just the way that Bonk's playing anyway. So let's see. Let's see what you know Red Ryu can do. Wow, that's actually interesting. He managed to break out of it with Nair. Oh, try betting it all on that dare right there on the air dodge, but not going to be able to find it. And yeah. Man, yeah, just manages to sneak through, but oh. gets the jab lock in. Okay. I'll think for, for dash or, could, or rapid jab. It was really hard to get a kill there from that jab lock, so he's got the max damage. Yeah. Pretty smart. I mean, the only thing that he could have done maybe was like a forward tilt, but I feel like rapid jab did a little bit more percent. Oh my god. Fell out of his hit up the ledge. It's so unfortunate for Nito because he does have mana at kill percent. I love that he can sweep by that. I keep saying it, but anyway, he dies from full screen. So, But yeah, I love that drill rush to sweet spot, man. So safe. I feel like one of the reasons why he's a little bit struggling to match up is oh my. because Meta Knight is pretty much only like half a character tall. So a lot of the combos that would connect on most other characters don't really work on Meta Knight. And he saw like it, when he went for the the, the down tilt combos, there were some times where he just fell out of it because he was just so short. Yeah, man, I size is a comp, uh, a problem for a lot of combo characters. It's, probably, it's one of his few attributes that like people overlook that make him really good. I feel. Off stage. Oh. I feel like the reason why people overlook it is because Mennonite doesn't feel like like a normal you no know, small character does. Oh, that should be death. Yeah. I'm glad he punished back. A lot of people get mixed up by the bounce. Lan oh, he's dead. Yeah. Back here doesn't care about focus attack, man. So easy. Now Bonk, one stock away from getting into the loser's finals up against Larry for the rematch. Let's see. Let's see what King, uh, Neo can do. It's honestly, oh my god. Jab block? No. No way. Oh, okay. but manages to focus the last hit. And that, that was the one hit that mattered in that combo. 
Oh, gets the punish on the rapid jab. Full combo. Oh, doesn't get the last up air for the for you. But still, that was nice damage. And going in low to avoid the nair, I love that. I also like that too, using the mixing up the timing on the four tail. Oh yeah, man, I can just dimensional cape out of there. Other characters might roll in that situation. You can get a focus attack, but oh my oh. god, no landing lag. You get immediately buffer that. Ooh. I don't know why I thought. He must be getting late. I, I thought Nito was on his last time there. That was actually a huge lead. That there we huge. go. Ken Nito was like not close to losing that. Right. I mean, he almost threw away that last stock though. Yeah. Just going for the. Uh, Bounding of Dreams is not legal here in SoCal. Avi, you want to tell them Fountain Dreams not legal? Fountain of Dreams isn't legal. They're going to Fountain. Oh, he's doing Battlefield. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I thought you I, saw that. Sorry. All right. I don't think Fountain of Dreams is legal anywhere, dude. Yo. Shout out to Fountain of Dreams, man. We never see this stage in this game. It's man, such I, a it's, beautiful stage. Why does it have HD. to lag? Oh. Why does it have to lag? We finally get HD Fountain of Dreams, and we can't play on it because it's too beautiful. Oh. Sakurai, please. I mean, all the water particle effects. Yeah. You know. Can we get the full screen, though, Javi? Can we get the full screen? Can we? All right, dead? Oh, oh no. no, he, he waited this time. Yeah, nice. he learned from last time that you know, it's not a true combo. So he tried getting the, the He could have drill rushed there yeah. on the focus instead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that actually would have been amazing. It would have been amazing, but could he make it bad is the question. I honestly I, I honestly couldn't tell you because Man Knight can drift so far after that move. Right. Oh, that should be dead. And Ooh, no, 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 no. I don't think... I don't know. If you DI it well, it doesn't kill that early in comparison to Ryu Shoryuken, I think. You definitely need the, the heavy up tilt or the heavy jab. The one that, like, like uppercuts you with the, and sends you nowhere. Yeah. That that one, because it, it pops you up. Just yeah. that extra little bit that you need in order to get that kill. Mm -hmm. Ooh, F smash. Just do it? All right. Dang, Nito Ken looking hot right now, man. Okay, off stage. Nice. Oh, oh wait, wait, free hit? Yeah. yeah. Nice hit. Okay, he didn't even need to get the extra hit. That was great. Great trade for Bonk to take that one. Because Nino stalled his up B for so long. And oh my god, the auto turnaround. Right. Uh, that's why cross ups are just not that effective against them. Watch that shield, man. I love the downers at Shield from Bonk, actually. He gets so many uh, quick ways to get the pressure off of him. Okay, gets the Nair. I feel stage. like that's one of his best, like, out of shield options just because it comes out so quickly. Yeah. Dude, I love. Wait, why? Um, yeah, dead. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. I was going to say, I love Bonk's reverse shuttle loop off stage. I don't see a lot of men I do that. There's big damage oh. coming out. Up air, up air. Catches the air dodge. Yeah, and he, is he dead off of that? Oh Dude. my god. He literally air dodged once out of pressure and just died for it. I mean, I did it. it. It's one of those things where it reminds me a lot like Mac KO Punch, where like you get the down tilt, and if they air dodge, then you get a free KO Punch. And if they don't air dodge, then you get a KO Punch anyways. So it's one of those things where it's almost like a 50 50 on whether or not you bet they air dodge or yeah. not. Dude, that was disgusting for me, though. And that was game five? Yo, that's two two stocks in a row with the Ken after going down 2-0 with Ryu. Right. I think when he told me Ken's worse than Ryu now. I feel uh, like <laughs> they're both equally like good, just in different ways. But I feel like he's more practiced with the Ken. So he's okay. able to like move in and out and get a lot more comfortable with punishing and uh, setting up punishers. Oh, too late on that. Yeah, norm normally when you commit uh, when you commit to Tatsu early off stage, it's so easy to hit because it has a lot of in line. But bunk a little bit too slow. All right, playing around the platforms here. Bonk, I got exploded by Nito's punish his last game, so I think he wants to just play as safe as possible. But, okay, not going to die, but yeah, that spot dodge, man. Spot dodging 
versus Ken is so scary because he can up tilt it into sure you can so well. And even shielding is scary too because he does so much shield damage. And, oh, that's death. Bye, bye. Oh, oh I, man. I love I love the going for the up smash instead of going for the Shoryu because there was a, a very very small chance that he could like SDI out. Yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. And Bonk, some uh, poor judgment swinging on that full focus attack, and now Nino might be working with his lead even longer. You already see the threat I mean, of Ken, man. There's so much damage. Focus is one of those moves where, unless you have a move that does like 30%, like, Ooh. you don't want to challenge focus. Yeah, I, I, I just run out of there. <laughs> if I see you in the full end, I'll just punch the end, like. But a great stuff for Bonk getting that roll read F smash, tying up the game really well. Oh. Oh, catches him even though he was behind them, you know. That swing around, you know, it has a deceptive hitbox right behind him that I didn't even know existed. Yeah, I didn't know it had a behind hitbox either until like tonight. Oh. We're mashing. Oh, oh dare to dare. I can't believe he died for like trading with Ken in the corner. <laughs> he literally just matched his move at the wrong time. And Ken's like, well, my match is better, so I get to get a, a down air. It's a down air. It's rough. Okay. And Bob uh, really needs his edge guard. Nice. Oh. He went super low and didn't commit to side B. That was so much harder for Bong to edge guard there. Oh, yeah. Oh. And Nito looking for the strong hit, dimensional K, but shielding it and tried going for it there, but going too high, not hitting Nito. Yeah, Nito's looking good. He might get a three, two stocks in a row. He I mean, all he needs is right. just one solid hit to assure you. This Ken is looking so scary right now. Look at him just walking back and forth. He knows if he commits. Oh my God, he did a Dogen right in his face. Oh my God. I mean, when you just see your opponent dashing back and forth like that, Ooh. it might be nice to throw out a projectile. But this is where it all matters is this last stock. Because Bonk can just steal oh, the dead. game, but... Dimensional cape gets yeah. punished for first time, I think. Like, he just did that dimensional cape while he had invincibility, like the opponent. And he's like, I need to run away. Right. But uh, no, Nito, Nito saw that. He's like, nah, I'm hitting you for this one. Right. You didn't swing, I'm swinging. And I'm yeah. swinging hard. Dang, so Bonk gets